Good evening, everyone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear honored guests and parents, uh, dear computer science and engineering faculty, friends, and colleagues, on behalf of my group, I would like to welcome you all to the final presentation of our graduation project, which is implementing bioinformatics algorithms and GPGPUs. Uh, well, basically, today we're going to demonstrate to you the output of a whole academic year of hard working and sacrifices. We hope that it would be up to your expectations and we hope that by the end of this presentation you would be as excited as we are with the results and the findings we're going to present. Please let me first introduce my group members and they are in no particular order of course. Omar al Ab, Mayu Tolba, Ahmed Sayed and me myself Tariq Sulaiman. Uh, our thesis supervisors are Dr. Mohammed Chalan and Dr. Mohammed Ahmed, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today. And our thesis coordinator is Dr. Khalid. Oops. So let me give you a quick overview. Like, please let me first like point your attention to this progress part here, and we'll indicate at the end of this presentation what this actually means. So let me give you like a quick overview of how this presentation is gonna proceed. First, I'm going to give you a quick introduction and a very big picture about the whole project and our uh, thesis statement and the motivation behind this project. Then, Ahmed is going to give you a little bit uh, more details about the environment we're working on. And then, Omar will take the most uh, interesting part in our presentation when he talks about the achievements and the findings. Then, I will wrap up with the future and uh, future enhancement. Uh, so, yeah, as I that we have received feedback from, my, from our friends that our presentations, our previous presentation are like somehow difficult to grasp and they're having difficult uh, like following up with us. So I will try to be as simple as possible and then my colleagues will try to go to, into more technicalities. So our project is simply to implement bioinformatics algorithms on uh, graphics processing units or GPUs. Uh, there are two key words in this uh, project statement. The first is the bioinformatics, or the field from which the problem comes. And the second is the GPU, or the piece of hardware we have utilized to solve this problem. That's for convenience, let me first introduce the hardware, which is the GPU. The GPU actually, or the graphics processing unit, nowadays every computer, every laptop has a graphics processing unit. This piece of hardware actually is, is, is very powerful. You can imagine that the typical GPU nowadays have like hundreds of cores, each is about 1.2 gigahertz, for example. But if you, for example, go on Pi laptop or a PC, the central processing unit of the CPU or the processor will typically have from two to four cores, each is about two gigahertz. So this piece of software actually is much more powerful than the, than the CPU. But the point is that until recently, GPUs has only been utilized for graphics applications so, such as game rendering, images, videos, and so on. Like, people in the past couldn't be able to use this powerful computational capabilities in non-graphics applications, only games and videos and so on. However, this concept is changing when NVIDIA, one of the biggest uh, manufacturer of graphics processing units, introduced a new programming model uh, called Coda. Uh, this programming model actually enables you and me and any technical computer science or, or developer to write non-graphics applications uh, on the GPU and utilize the high computational capabilities of the GPU for non-graphics applications. So this is basically it about the hardware. We have a very powerful hardware that has massive computational capabilities and a new programming model that allows you to use this hardware for non-graphics applications. Moving to the second keyword of our thesis or our, our project, which is bioinformatics, the field that, uh, from which the, uh, the problem comes. Actually, the field of bioinformatics is the field of biology that utilizes computer science and mathematics to solve some of the most complex problems. Actually, within the field of bioinformatics, there are several complex problems. You can imagine that some simulations and some problems would take hours and maybe days to compute them and you can like, see this progress bar can have an indication for you. So yeah, that's uh, the introduction of our project. We have a very powerful GPU, a very powerful piece of hardware, capable, has amazing computational capabilities, and we have problems from the field of bioinformatics that do need these capabilities, capabilities to accelerate them. So our thesis statement turned out to be that we were gonna accelerate to 
uh, applications from the field of bioinformatics through utilizing the computational capabilities of uh, code-enabled GPUs. Our motivation from this project actually, uh, there are three basic aspects. First is the bioinformatics itself. Bioinformatics actually is very close to every one of us. It affects every one of us lives. Uh, the field of bioinformatics is mainly concerned with the identification of genes and drugs and so on. And this helps so much in identification of the uh, drug discovery, better drug discovery, and can lead to the better of humankind if we could like somehow increase and optimize the process of uh, bioinformatics applications. The second motivation is the computational capabilities of the GPU. Actually, we felt kind of sad that the high computational capabilities of the GPU is only utilized for, or it's not really utilized, and it's only used in graphics and games and videos and images and so on. The third, and actually is a combination of the first and the second, is that we're having like somehow an interdependent relation between the hardware and the problem and both uh, and if we can utilize it, the GPU we can actually do solve and optimize several bioinformatics problems. So hopefully this like give you kind an overview of the project now I'll leave you with the more details for that.